Hello and welcome to TechBoost TV. Today, I'm going to show you how to install hard drives and solid state drives into a Dell Precision 5820 workstation. Before beginning, we recommend checking with the manufacturer and making sure the latest firmware is installed. For this installation, you may need a small Phillips head screwdriver. The 5820's basic configuration has four 3.5 inch hot swap hard drive bays and one internal 5.25 inch bay. Each bay can be used for one 3.5 inch drive or one 2.5 inch solid state drive. With the proper backplane and flex bay adapter, a hard drive bay can be converted for use with an M.2 NVMe drive. To begin, ensure your computer is powered off and the power cord is unplugged. Next, press and hold the power button until the light is completely shut off to ensure there is no residual power remaining on the motherboard. To access the hot swap drive bays, you will have to remove the front panel. To do this, locate the latch on the front bezel and lift to remove it. Remove the tray from the system by depressing the latch and pulling the tray out. Place the hard drive in the tray like so, and ensure each of the four pins finds their way to the retaining holes on the sides of the hard drive. Once properly mounted, the hard drive will be flush with the tray, and you can plug the drive into the drive bay. The data and power connections are built into the hard drive bay, so you don't need to worry about connecting any cables. If you are installing a solid state drive, the process is the same, but you will need a drive bay converter to mount into the 3.5 inch tray. Next, you will have to move the pins on the hard drive tray to the positions that line up with the holes on your SSD. You will need to install the SSD into the retention pins. To install an M.2 NVMe drive, you will need either a PCIe adapter or an NVMe 3.5 inch flex bay adapter. When using a flex bay adapter, press in to release the drive caddy from the adapter. Next, unscrew the three screws from the top and sides of the caddy. Next, place the M.2 drive into the matching slot and close the caddy. Place the caddy back into the adapter, and place the adapter into the drive bay. With the drives installed, you can now replace the front panel. If you are using a PCIe adapter, you can find the appropriate PCIe slot near the back of the system. Lift the blue latch and press the M.2 adapter firmly into the slot, ensuring the bracket notches are aligned and fit snugly into the system. Next, attach the SATA cable to the motherboard. Lastly, reattach the side panel. Please check out our how-to videos covering processor, RAM, hard drive, and video card installations, as well as general product overviews for this and other systems. If you have found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. We welcome suggestions on how to make these more useful, so please don't be shy requesting more content.